Good morning to our guests from abroad. Good morning and many thanks to our honored guest, Susan Maiello, who came all the way from Italy. And good morning to Luis Gaila, who uh, received the distinguished Francis Tustin Memorial Prize for her paper, one of the two lectures that you will present later. Gaila came all the way from Sydney, Australia, and I thank you and congratulate you on behalf of all of us and hope that you and all our guests from overseas will enjoy your stay in our interesting, sometimes too interesting, country. I also wish to thank Dana Amir for, for her later part today and to Joel Miller and Boaz Chalgi for moderating, moderating the panels and to thank those who helped to coordinate this morning. Shlomit Yadlin Gadot, who is ch in charge of our events in the teaching committee, Shani Han, Galit Ben Yehuda, and especially Liat Marciano, who coordinated all the complex arrangements required to enable this conference. In 1930, Melanie Klein meets four-year-old Dick, and so she writes. The poverty of his vocabulary and his intellectual attainments was on the level of a child of about 15 or 18 months. Adaptation to reality and emotional relations to his environment were almost entirely lacking. Klein was puzzled, for it will not until 14 years later that autism will be discovered as a diagnosis by Kanner. She wrote, the unusually difficult, I, difficulty I had to contend with in this analysis was not his defective capacity for speech. The analysis had to begin with a fundamental obstacle to establishing contact with him. This was the beginning. Frances Dustin was one of the few pioneers who dedicated her entire professional life to help us understand why do children like Dick avoid contact and how can we reach them in what she named their protective shells. And regarding our work with these states, Dustin wrote, there is a saying, it is better to light one small candle than to go on cursing in the darkness. It has been my privilege Tustin wrote, to light one small candle to shed its light on the dark scene of psychogenic autism. So I wish to thank Frances Tustin for lighting her small candle. And I wish to deeply thank Judith Mitrani for her tremendous contribution in chairing the, the Frances Tustin Memorial Trust from the day it was founded. And also for choosing our Lena Schellekes, the chair of the Primitive Mental States track in our program to take the small candle from her hand and step into her position. We congratulate Alina, the new chair of the Francis Dustin Memorial Trust. <laughs> Knowing you as we do, we have no doubt that you will fulfill your part in the best way possible. We are very grateful for Alina's initiation to collaborate with us here in Tel Aviv Psychotherapy Program so that every year we will enjoy this unique opportunity to host the annual Francis Tustin Memorial Conference in which the winning paper will always be presented here in Tel Aviv University every November. What an exciting tradition we begin today. I wish us all an illuminating and enjoyable morning. Thank you. <laughs>